it is minimum that much movement within next four five days as i said we are hampered by the unavailability of the jpl's goldstone station so if we can manage that somehow then it will improve the overall visibility and then that will result into uh, more movements of the rovers so this is how right now within the available resources and the constraints which we are facing we are trying to plan out most optimally the rover movement and do the various experimentation and meanwhile the four sensors on the lander or the four payloads on the lander are continuously doing their work so that way we'll get good amount of data from the lander payloads but uh, as far as rover payloads are concerned which are the two payloads we need to do the movement so that we collect data from different places so these are the observation which we got from the lips that is the laser uh, induced uh, spectrograph uh, which we have put on the rover so it has done the measurement and come out with clear very clearly with the spectroscopy lines where sulfur is uh, visible in a very prominent way earlier also sulfur has been found on the moon surface but uh, not so prominently so that that is the unique point of this observation which we have got recently of course uh, further analysis is still going on but uh, this is one very good indication that sulfur is available and it was available earlier also but that means the rocks which have been analyzed or the soil which has been analyzed contain sulfur in a good amount so that is the finding of this particular experiment and apart from that oxygen traces are also there but uh, finally our idea is we the, they are looking for hydrogen availability also because both hydrogen and oxygen put together only we can think of something of generating water in future but it will also it will need lot of other processing and other aspects before we finally uh, end up with the development of or getting uh, water source on the moon surface which which is the very essential part if we really want to have space habitat or space colonies so these are just first steps in all these directions and it is too early to say or confirm that whether we will be able to find water because hydroxyl molecule was already already earlier discovered in 2008 itself and apart from that whether we there is any possibility of using all these element oxygen or hydroxyl molecule or if we find hydrogen all this put together whether it will be feasible to generate water on moon surface which only can make life habitable on such uh, places so it is these are early days very too too early days and uh, we need to do further research and we need to have corroboration from other further studies as well of course many other missions are planned so we'll have to wait till then where we get more data out of that meanwhile if rover can get us more data related to the near the rim of the crater and all those things that we are trying to look into that but uh, as i said it is too early to say anything about future possibility of having space habitat on moon